Hi there, welcome to QA Box Let's Test. So this is a new series on JavaScript. In this, we are going to cover basic elements of JavaScript. And on the screen, you could see the content that we are going to cover in this course. All right, so first thing is introduction. So introduction to JavaScript. So what is JavaScript? So JavaScript is a high level language and an interpreted language. So what do we mean by high level and interpreted language? So anything that we do on computer is actually translated into its binary form means zero and one because our computer understand only these two things, zero and one, all right? So in this diagram, as you could see that this is the hardware, then we have got the machine language, we have got assembly language on top of that, and then we have got this high level language. So high level language is something that is more readable and easy to write. This is something like, you know, you are writing a statement in English, right? So that's why we are calling it as high level. It is abstracted from that zero and one. All right, so high level language is a programming language designed to simplify computer programming. It is high level since it is several steps removed from the actual code run on a computer's processor. High level source code contains easy to read syntax that is later converted into low level language, which can be recognized and run by a specific CPU. So who does this job? of converting the high level language into the low level language which your hardware can understand. So this program is called as either a compiler or an interpreter, all right? So something like this, if you could see, low level programming language is something like this, zero and one. High level, this is more readable, right? Now this whole transformation is being done by either compiler or interpreter. In case of JavaScript, the, this job is being done by an interpreter, all right? So now what is an interpreter? Okay, so it's, it's a program which, as we have already in explained, converts your high level program into low level, but what are the other steps involved in this whole process? So an interpreted language is a type of programming language for which most of its implementations execute instructions directly and freely. All right, so in case of compile, the language, the code that you have written has to be first compiled, all right, and then it can only run, all right. So take the example of Java, C, C++, it has to be, you know, you're the compiler first convert your classes into the machine level code, all right, and then runs that. How in case of interpreted languages like, you know, your JavaScript, the moment you write your code, it is ready for execution line by line. And a line is read first, it's interpreted, and then it's get executed. But in case of compile, your whole program is first compiled and then executed. All right. So in the definition, we see that without previously compiling a program into machine language instruction, the interpreter executes the program directly translating each statement into a sequence of one or more subroutines and then into another language, often machine code. All right, something like this. Again, one more diagram to explain this. In the compiled uh, languages, you write a program, you first compile it, distribute it, and then user runs it. But in interpreted, you write the script, you distribute it, users run it, and then each line is interpreted as it's run, okay? So that's about the definition for JavaScript. It's a high level and interpreted language, okay? So there are various names given to this, like JavaScript, ECMAScript, LiveScript, Mocha is the development project name. And, and don't get confused with the Mocha unit testing framework. And the other name is Java, JS, JScript, all right? So usage now. So if you are a developer, right? So as you know that on the client side, there are three technologies, HTML, right? For creating the structure, CSS for styling your, you know, HTML page and 
to make your page interactive so that user can interact with that we require javascript right and there are other libraries available you know like jquery uh, react js you know angular js and now with the introduction of node.js even we can use this javascript on even on the server side earlier it was restricted only to be used inside the browser right and what about this react js and angular again these are classic you know ui framework uh, very popular these days uh, and what is the purpose of uh, javascript in the testing world so for testers you know if you know javascript you can do api testing automation of api testing using postman you can also do the ui testing using various available libraries like you know cypress protector web driver io and these days this is among the top three programming languages so i think i mean it's, it's a good programming language for both developers and testers all right and with the introduction of shift left if you know javascript right and you have the basic knowledge of you know react js components and you know the component life cycle you know by doing little more reading on these technologies like react js and angular you will be in a position to even write unit test cases for your ui all right exciting so this is about the introduction i'll see you in the next video if you like it, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Thank you. Bye-bye.